Hey guys, SGT Nickel, and I found a hemlock tree. I got some real good information about this. So as you can see, the needles are quite small, and they lay relatively flat. They're not bushy like the um, the uh, grand fir or shore pine. Uh, the shore pine is probably the one that looks closest to this, but this is a hemlock. The reason you can tell is when you go up to the top. Here, let's try and zoom in. And hopefully you can see it, but it's got a very weepy top. It doesn't matter whether it's it's sunny or not. I mean, whether it's in a sunny location or not. The top will weep over to some degree. And I don't know if you can see it with this camera, but there you go. You can see the very top, how it tips over like that. It's not sticking straight up like the Douglas fir or Grand fir does. That's how you tell. This here is a hemlock tree. And um, it's not poisonous, like a lot of people uh, think. That's water hemlock, completely different plant. What this is, is um, the pine needles, or the needles on these. You'll see these green shoots. Uh, this isn't quite in year, but you can still do it with these. You can make tea out of them, or just pick them off and chew on them. And uh, you can actually eat it, it's not going to harm you. Um, and what it does, it can quench your thirst, it gives you vitamin C. And if you make tea out of it, it's really good because it gives you, of course, vitamin C. But the most interesting thing that most people don't know about it is if I were to take a knife, I'm not going to do this because I'm actually in a national park right now, so I'm not going to deface any trees. But if I were to shave a section of this down to where you're almost at the intersection, just behind the bark, you've got this thin, slimy layer called the cadmium layer. And what you can do with that is uh, you scrape it off the tree and you would gather that up and you dry it out. Once you've dried it out, you can crush it up into a flour and uh, bake bread out of it. And it's, you can make really good hemlock bread. Once again, um, this isn't something you're going to do in an emergency situation. This is more of a homestead type situation. If you're living out in the woods on long term, you can make bread from this tree. And it's actually quite tasty. Uh, the First Nations used to do it. It was probably a, one of the main staples, actually, um, for, for around this area. So that's the hemlock tree. And it usually grows in, in wetter, sort of coastal locations, um, often a little bit higher than this region, but there are a few hemlock here. They're rare, but we do have some. And uh, there's one right there, and thought I'd share.